Hi, I'm Dr. Claire Francomano. I'm a medical geneticist at Indiana University School of Medicine and chair of the Medical and Scientific Board for the Ehlers-Danlos Society. Today, I'm going to talk about joint hypermobility and how you can tell if you are more flexible than the average person. We call this generalized joint hypermobility. The most commonly accepted means of assessing joint hypermobility is a test called the Byton score. The Byton score is a nine-point scale. If you are able to touch your thumb to your forearm, you get one point for each side that is able to do that. If your fifth finger extends beyond 90 degrees, give yourself one point for the left and one point for the right. Do your elbows extend more than 10 degrees beyond a straight line? One point for each elbow that does that. Do your knees extend more than 10 degrees beyond a straight line? Here again, you get one point for each knee that goes beyond 10 degrees beyond the straight line. It can sometimes be difficult to tell the exact measurements of the angles for the elbows and knees, and I usually use an instrument called a goniometer to do these measurements. Finally, are you able to put your palms on the floor without bending your knees? If so, you get one more point. This chart shows how you can add up your points to a total of a possible nine. The cutoff for generalized joint hypermobility varies with age because we expect that people will be less flexible as they get older. For children and adolescents before puberty, the cutoff is six. For most pubertal adolescents through age 50, the cutoff is five. For adults over age 50, the cutoff is four. So there you have it. The Byton score is the most widely accepted measure to examine a person for generalized joint hypermobility. There is another way to screen for joint hypermobility. In 2003, Drs. Alan Hakeem and Rodney Graham published a five-point questionnaire that is a valid Validated tool to assess for joint hypermobility. If you can answer yes to two or more of these questions, the chances are that you are unusually flexible. And these questions are the following. Can you now or could you ever place your hands flat on the floor without bending your knees? Can you now or could you ever bend your thumb to touch your forearm? As a child, did you amuse your friends by contorting your body into strange shapes? Or could you do the splits? As a child or teenager, did your shoulder or kneecap dislocate on more than one occasion? And finally, do you consider yourself double-jointed? I'll be talking about the implications of generalized joint hypermobility and what it means in a future video. Thank you so much for listening.